believe it or not this is now the third time I have tried filming this video let's hope that third time's a charm because if not I'm gonna go crazy so I have never been a morning person like ever I only woke up when I had to and honestly I thought that being awake hours before you had a plan or something to do was absolutely pointless I could be sleeping but I have learnt to enjoy mornings especially since I developed this life-changing morning routine so I have actually read studies I've watched YouTube videos I've watched TikTok videos, I've asked ChatGPT, Bing, all of the above. What are the habits in the morning of successful people? Create a morning routine for me. What should I be doing in the morning? And then I compiled it and adapted it to myself. If there's something you should take away from this video is that no morning routine is the same and you can't just copy and paste a morning routine that was developed for a different person. So just take this as inspiration and adapt it to yourself. Without further ado, do let's get into it so i wake up at around eight or nine in the morning i am a university student and i have afternoon and evening classes normally i go in at around 3 p.m and the latest i leave sometimes is 9 or 9 30. obviously it's not super realistic for me to be in bed by 9 and awake by 4 a.m but if that is realistic for you then all power to you so i go to sleep realistically at around 12. i get around eight or nine hours of sleep so the first thing that has absolutely changed the game for me is I don't snooze anymore. I used to be a person, actually let me bring this up for you, my alarms used to look like this. As you can see, if I had to wake up at 7.30, I would snooze around five or six times. So I'd set an alarm every five minutes just for the pure feeling of knowing that I still don't have to wake up and I have time left before I absolutely have to wake up. And knowing the science that I know now, this is absolutely insane so let's talk a little bit about the science behind this because we are cultured we like knowing about different topics so we can share these with our friends and our family so every time that we go back to sleep we start this thing called a sleep cycle the average sleep cycle takes around 75 minutes knowing this every time we go back to sleep and we start this new cycle imagine we wake up 15 minutes into those 75 minutes. This means that we're interrupting our sleep cycle and therefore waking up more tired and more low energy. Something I do to make sure that I also get out of bed and don't snooze is I put my phone across the room so I have to get up to actually turn my alarm off. That way I'm just up and a lot more less likely to actually get back into bed. And once I turn my alarm off, I leave my phone there. I don't go on my phone because another little scientific fact because like I said we're cultured if we go on our phone as soon as we wake up we get hit with this hormone and neurotransmitter called dopamine dopamine is like a feel-good hormone and it's like that typical thing when we're watching a really good series or listening to a really good song or working out our body releases dopamine and dopamine is actually addictive so if we wake up and we get hit with dopamine from looking at our phone it just means that we're going to be a lot more inclined to look at it during the day and engaging in the toxic habits that we all have nowadays of just being on our phones 24 7 looking at social media comparing ourselves to others and all of that the third habit which is super important and i feel like it doesn't get spoken about enough is hydration so when we wake up we've literally been sleeping and obviously not drinking any type of liquid for about eight or nine hours or how many hours you sleep even if you sleep for four hours you haven't drank water in four hours that is a long time so it's super important to wake up and hydrate and drink lots of water i'm someone who has matcha in the morning also this goes for people who have coffee those are actually quite dehydrating so if you wake up and not only not hydrate but drink something that's dehydrating this can make you feel a little bit queasy a little bit low energy a bit fatigued and we don't want that we want to feel good we want to feel like we can take on the day and hydration is the key for this so this is then when i would go and get dressed so i'd put on 
on some type of workout attire. This is whether I'm doing a workout at home, going to the gym or even going on a run. I know a lot of people can wake up and then they read and meditate and journal and all of those things and I admire you so much if you do that but I cannot. I cannot do that because I would fall back asleep. So I change into my workout attire and then this also is when I would come back and do my bed. You know how people are like, do your bed as soon as you wake up because that is gonna make you feel like you're accomplished and whatever. Yes, but don't do it as soon as you wake up because there's actually bacteria and like dust mites and things like that in your bed, obviously from sleeping there in an enclosed space for so many hours. And if you make your bed right as you wake up, you're actually trapping that bacteria inside your bed. So when you go to sleep, it's gonna be there. So then this is when I would leave and work out. Like I said, normally I go to the gym, but sometimes I do at home workouts or go on a run and Obviously, I have afternoon and evening classes, so I have to do a workout in the morning because otherwise I won't do it unless I want to do like a 10 p.m. run, which personally it's winter and I do not want to do that. Then once my workout is complete, I come back and this is when I have breakfast and my matcha. I have such a sweet tooth and I love having really sweet breakfast in the morning, but another scientific fact for us women i actually went off the pill i think i've said this like ten thousand times on my channel already or on my tiktok or wherever i just feel like it's something i'm constantly repeating but in case you didn't know i went off the pill a couple of months ago so my hormones were completely imbalanced because i'd been on the pill for about seven years which is a long time a really long time so I had to come off it, I came off it, and by the way, best thing I ever did. If you're thinking of going off the pill, this is your sign. Obviously, we use other methods, we are safe. My skin went absolutely insane. Like it went so crazy, so, so crazy. So I started investigating what I was doing wrong and how I can balance my hormones again. Something really interesting that I learned was having sweet breakfasts can cause further hormonal imbalance because of the spikes in glucose so i switched to savory breakfast so something i love is like toast of any kind so normally i have either bandumaga which is a toast with tomato olive oil and salt on top very spanish love it or i have maybe some scrambled eggs with avocado and a piece of toast or i have like toast with avocado on top and like an, a fried egg i don't fry my eggs i just like flip it over if that makes sense yeah and these have completely changed the game for me i feel so much better my hormones are a lot more balanced like my skin is finally recovering and that makes me so happy so once i've had my breakfast and my matcha sometimes i read while i'm having my breakfast this is when i you know go into that slower pace part of the morning if you will so then once i'm done with that i go and have a shower Finally, after having a sweaty workout, I do my skincare, my makeup, and I get ready for the day. And that is my complete morning routine. It's completely changed my life. I love having the structure, having the routine. It makes me excited to wake up in the morning because I know what I'm doing. I don't have to sit around and be like, what am I going to do? It's just little rituals that you create for yourself and they make me really happy i have a lot of free time in the morning but honestly this full routine takes me around two or two and a half hours so if you have to for example get out of the door by eight or 8 30 i think waking up at six is fine and you can do this like without a doubt and without any problem and honestly it's just gonna make a massive difference in your day than just getting up in a rush getting dressed and getting out the door because that just sets the precedent for the rest of your day and you want your day to feel good you want it to feel like you've achieved things i'm not gonna ramble on any further this was my morning routine I hope you guys really enjoyed this kind of video. I know it's a little bit different. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.